For decades, the spectacle of rocket launches has captured public imagination. Among today's launch providers, SpaceX stands apart, not just for its achievements, but for its relentless pace. Starbase, the company's private launch site in Boca Chica, Texas, has transformed from a coastal outpost into a high-intensity testing ground for the world's most ambitious rocket, Starship. This fully reusable super-heavy lift system is designed to carry cargo, and eventually humans, to the moon, Mars, and beyond. But with that ambition comes high-risk experimentation. In May 2025, SpaceX launched its ninth Starship test flight. The mission was closely watched, not only for the rocket's performance, but also for growing concerns about safety and infrastructure. Online, rumors spread rapidly. Had Flight 9 destroyed the launch pad? What really happened? And what does this mean for future launches? In this video, we'll break down the facts about Starship Flight 9's pad incident and its broader implications. Before we begin, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss our ongoing coverage of the space industry. Starship Flight 9 lifted off on May 27, 2025. Unlike prior tests, this mission reused its Super Heavy booster, a major milestone in SpaceX's pursuit of full reusability. The flight profile followed the usual plan. Separation of the booster and upper stage followed by a partial return and data collection. On the surface, it marked real progress. Staging occurred smoothly. Ship 35, the upper stage, reached space and executed its scheduled main engine cutoff, something previous tests hadn't always achieved. However, a cascade of anomalies soon followed. Just before launch, the countdown was delayed by two technical holds. One due to an engine issue, another due to problems with ground-side fueling infrastructure. After liftoff, Booster 14-2 completed its boost phase, but experienced a failure during the landing attempt. Elon Musk later indicated that one of the Raptor engines exploded, likely causing the booster to break up during its descent. Meanwhile, the Starship upper stage encountered a critical failure. Leaks in its propellant tanks led to a loss of main tank pressure. As a result, the spacecraft was unable to maintain attitude control during its coast phase. It began tumbling uncontrollably, making it impossible to execute a re-entry burn. Contact was lost as it fell into the Indian Ocean. Despite this, both SpaceX and the FAA consider these failures to be within acceptable test parameters. The booster's disintegration had been pre-approved as part of the risk envelope. The FAA reported no injuries and no damage to public property. Still, attention quickly turned to the condition of the launch pad. Social media posts began circulating, claiming that Starship Flight 9 had destroyed Pad A at Starbase. But these claims lack support from credible sources. The FAA, which oversees spaceflight safety in the U.S., made no mention of launch pad destruction in its formal statements. SpaceX itself provided no comment suggesting catastrophic damage. In fact, their post-flight summary suggested the opposite. Improvements were underway, and the rocket would be back on the pad soon. To understand the significance, it's useful to recall SpaceX's early struggles with pad integrity. During Starship's first integrated flight in April 2023, the thrust from 33 Raptor engines blew out a massive crater beneath the orbital mount. That event hurled debris across the site and caused major damage. Since then, SpaceX has taken steps to reinforce its infrastructure. These include adding a water deluge system to absorb engine thrust and relocating key components like the fueling arm. However, Pad A, the site used for Flight 9, is the same launch mount that endured the earlier failure. Given that, it's reasonable to assume the Flight 9 launch imposed significant stress on the infrastructure. Still, there's no indication of destruction on the scale of 2023. SpaceX has developed a routine for refurbishing Pad A between launches, typically requiring only a few weeks. Additionally, the company is actively constructing a new Pad B, which features a reinforced flame trench and thick steel walls specifically designed to mitigate future damage. This new infrastructure will provide crucial redundancy as the Starship program ramps up. In the short term, even minor pad repairs will be contingent on regulatory approval. 
the FAA has launched a formal mishap investigation into the loss of the Starship upper stage. SpaceX must wait for this investigation to conclude before proceeding with its next launch. Once cleared, however, Elon Musk has suggested that future launches could follow every three to four weeks. This aggressive timeline reflects SpaceX's broader strategy. The company continues to collect data from each test, iterate rapidly, and implement design improvements before the next flight. According to the October 2024 federal license, SpaceX is authorized for up to 25 Starship launches per year from Starbase alone. That license remains active, and no current findings suggest a long-term disruption to that plan. For now, the bigger question may be environmental oversight. Although no environmental agency has publicly criticized Flight 9, past launches have drawn lawsuits from advocacy groups concerned about habitat destruction. After the 2023 pad failure, debris scattered into nearby wetlands prompting lawsuits against the FAA for insufficient environmental review. In response, the FAA expanded its hazard zones for Flight 9 and required pre-launch environmental assessments. While no new damage has been confirmed, future flights may face increased scrutiny, particularly if evidence surfaces of significant infrastructure damage or contamination. Internally, SpaceX remains optimistic. Elon Musk emphasized that Flight 9 generated a lot of good data, noting minimal heat shield damage and successful staging. SpaceX's official stance is that each flight, even those that end in failure, provides essential insights for eventual operational readiness. The public narrative from SpaceX continues to focus on vehicle refinement rather than infrastructure concerns. To summarize, while Starship Flight 9 suffered vehicle failures, it did not destroy the launch pad. The booster broke apart as expected. The upper stage was lost due to tank pressure issues. No credible reports confirm the destruction of Pad A. Though routine maintenance and refurbishment are likely, SpaceX plans to move ahead quickly with the next test, pending FAA clearance. With a new launch pad under construction and environmental agencies watching closely, the Starship program remains on an accelerated but carefully monitored path forward. Looking ahead, much rides on the resilience of SpaceX's infrastructure. If future launches trigger real structural failures, or if regulators impose tighter oversight, the test cadence could slow. But for now, the Starship program remains firmly in motion. If SpaceX can stabilize both hardware and launch infrastructure, the company will be one step closer to its long-term goals, delivering cargo to orbit, landing astronauts on the moon, and eventually reaching Mars. Whether or not Flight 9 was a setback depends not on the flames seen at liftoff, but on how quickly and effectively the company moves forward.